Welcome, this is item number 15 in the released spring 2014 test items for 7th grade TCAT math. This is kind of a weird question, um, just because it has a distractor in it that makes it seem like it's something that it's not. So the question says Oscar is making salad dressing using a mixture of three parts olive oil to one part vinegar. How many fluid ounces of vinegar should he use to make a total of 32 fluid ounces of salad dressing? Now, I'm seeing three numbers. Which makes me feel like, if you've seen some of the other videos on this um, earlier on that I've done, uh, it seems like a two, three, fourth situation because I have three numbers given to me. But then I get to two items and I'll notice that it says olive oil, vinegar, and then total. So it doesn't seem like it's probably going to be a proportion. But the reality is, if you look a little bit deeper, the things they're really asking about are, oops, I didn't mean to delete the whole thing. I just wanted to delete this. Um, the olive oil, so how many, or sorry, vinegar. How many fluid ounces of vinegar should it use, he use to make a total? So really the two items are vinegar and total. The olive oil is just kind of like a side part of it. I mean, we're going to use it, but only in the sense that we need the number connected to it. So for the fourth thing, uh, we need to see, we'll look for fourth number. So if one number is the total amount of ounces of uh, salad dressing, so total ounces of salad dressing is one. Ounces of vinegar, so we've got one part vinegar, so if I have vinegar versus total, I have one vinegar, 32 total. But the thing is, I can figure out the other number for total. Because if the mixture itself, so the idea is the mixture versus the uh, salad dressing as the larger scale, so salad dressing. The mixture I can figure out, because it would be one vinegar to four total. And the way I get that is because there's three parts olive oil, one part vinegar, three plus one is four, so you have to set up one that says one vinegar to four total. So I do know something about it. So I'm going to build a proportion. One vinegar over four total for salad dressing. And I might put salad dressing here. So for the other part of my proportion, the ratio part, I need to take a look at the idea of, okay, I have 32 ounces total of salad dressing, so where does that go? Using the whole uh, cat, dog, hotel thing I've talked about before, you need to keep all your cats on the second floor or all your cats on the first floor. Don't mix and match. Well, we added vinegar up here, so I'm not going to put the total number of ounces up on top. I'll put it on the bottom with total. See, they're in the same basic spot. So 32 total. So now I can find how many fluid ounces of vinegar that I want. So as you can see, it's a little bit more complicated than the simple 2, 3, 4 relationship. But if you pay close attention to what they're really asking you to do, it's not that hard. I mean, it's just from here, it's just cross, multiply, and divide. So if I have one vinegar, 32 total, I'll do 32, and then 4 times x, which is 4x, to get rid of it, I need to divide by 4. 8 fluid ounces. What else could you do? Um, there are other ways to look at that problem. You can think, well, I need to go from 4 total ounces, 4 total ounces, because it says 4 parts to 1 part, so I have 4 parts, and I need to get that up to 32 for my the type I'm needing to make, so I just do times 8. So if I have one part of this is vinegar, I just do times 8. So there you go. Most of it wouldn't make much sense otherwise. Vinegar is such a small part of the whole thing. So you can't really go with, you know, well, if it's probably going to be 30 or 96. 96 would make no sense. 32, probably not. If it takes one vinegar to three olive oil and you're only making 32 total, this doesn't even look close. So at least if you have a chance, I mean, you get down to two, you could probably just guess, even though I would think that a lot of people would tend to guess for 11. You know, that's just one way to go about it. Also, the other thing you could try, if you didn't want to do either one of those two methods, 
is say, okay, we'll have one vinegar to four total parts. So what do I need to do to uh, get 32 that way? So I do times 32, 8. So any way you slice it, 8 fluid ounces of vinegar will make you 32 ounces of salad dressing, assuming you're following the recipe as described. So that's it.